what's going on everybody everything credit here so i wanted to make a quick video and let y'all know that these are 10 of the questions you should be asking before you sign up with anyone including myself for credit repair credit restoration or credit solutions now these are just 10 questions you can ask a lot more but i feel like a lot of people miss out on a lot of questions they should be asking these companies um, so i'm going to go over the 10 with y'all the first one is what makes you different from everyone else make them kind of put them on the spot if you will because we all think we're different but you as a potential client should want to know exactly what makes one company different from the other because let's face it there's so many scams going on out there there's so many people out there that just they're not doing any work you know so make them explain to you what makes them different from everybody else number two what kind of results should i expect using your services now this is kind of a trick question but you need to ask it and what i mean by a trick question you really need to know their answer to this because there really is no true answer and what i mean by that is there is no exact date the amount of days amount of months no matter what anybody tells you there's really no telling what results you'll see if any you may not see any results i don't care how good that company is if they're being realistic with you one of the things they're going to tell you when you ask that question is you may not see results at all because that's just the facts of how it works now realistic expectations should be something along the lines of you know most people see results within two to three months some people see results faster some people it takes longer for them to see any type of results you know the average client that signs up with me is six to eight months some people are done faster some people it takes longer <clears throat> excuse me it just depends on that person's file everybody's file is different so make sure you ask that question number three do you offer a money-back guarantee most companies do not offer any type of money back guarantee. Lexington Law is the biggest credit repair company in the United States. And unless they just recently changed, they don't even offer a money back guarantee. It is super hard to offer a money back guarantee in this industry just because of how it works and how you may not see any results. Remember all these companies, including myself, we're in this to make money. This is how we make a living. Uh, and if they do say they offer a money back guarantee, tell them you want that in writing. When you sign my client agreement, it's literally in the client agreement, 180 day money back guarantee. Always make sure you read your client agreement before signing it, because this is where a lot of companies will hide information that they don't want you to know anybody can offer you a money back guarantee verbally if this goes to litigation you have to sue that company for any reason they're going to go by that agreement you can't go into court and say oh well they promised me over the phone that they offered a money back guarantee well this is why you always want to read your agreement because that's what they're going to go by if you have to sue that company number four is this a credit sweep this one here is another kind of a trick question uh, because if they're you if they are doing a credit sweep there's a really good chance they're going to answer this question and say no we don't do credit sweeps we don't believe in that because most people that actually do credit sweeps and i know people that do them they don't think it's actually a credit sweep they think what they are doing is the correct way of doing it. And yes, you are going to get stupid, crazy results really, really fast. But as most of you already know, 
all that stuff's going to go right back on your credit report once they do an actual investigation. Because all it is is simply stating that you're a victim of identity theft. They have, I think it's 72 hours to remove everything. And then they do the investigation afterwards. It's kind of backwards from how uh, Credit Solutions actually works. Uh, but trust me, the stuff's going to go right back on your report. Uh, number five, can you show me your letters you are sending to the bureaus? This is another thing that almost every company does not offer, and it's for several reasons. One of the reasons they might tell you is because they don't want you to see their work and steal their work and start doing the same type of work they're doing. Most people don't care. They're not trying to get into this industry. I understand some of the people saying that to an extent, but most of the people that reply with that answer, they won't show you because they don't have nothing to show you. You paid them the fee that they wanted, whether it be a monthly fee or a one-time fee, which obviously is illegal, but people are still doing it. So they don't care if you get results or not. They got what they wanted. They got paid. They may send one round of letters. Uh, that's what a lot of these uh, scammers do is they just send one round of letters and then they're done. And then if they had to show proof, if you was to take them to court, they can show that they sent that round of letters, but they can't show anything else. Number six, do I have access to you or just your team? Remember, most of these companies, especially the bigger companies, you are never going to talk to the person running that company. Not one time will you speak to that person. You're just talking to a person that literally only does phone calls with clients, goes over the reports with clients. Then they have people that actually do the letters. They have a team that does one specific thing and that's it. You're never going to talk to the person that's actually running the company. Uh, I'm one of the very few companies that you literally only have access to me. Now, I may be hard to get a hold of, but once you get a hold of me, you're going to talk to me, not somebody else uh, that really doesn't even know what's going on. Uh, number seven, do you offer certified mailing? Now, y'all know how I feel about certified mailing. Uh, most companies don't offer this just because it costs so much more to mail certified plus it takes up a lot of time at the post office so the easiest way i found to do that uh, because i do have several clients that want their letters mailed certified is i will just take the whole stack of certified uh mail to the post office drop it off and then come back several hours later or maybe right before they close so everything's done because uh, you also uh, wind up holding up the line and people kind of get pissed off when they have to wait on you. I get it. So it's just simpler to do that. But again, most companies don't offer this just because it, it's, it costs so much more and it's so time consuming. But I feel like it's something that should be offered because some people want it sent certified just so they know when the bureaus receive the letters. But you know, I don't like certified mailing just because it takes so much longer for them to receive the letters versus just putting one, two, three stamps on it and mailing it. Uh, it gets there a lot faster that way. But again, most people just want to know when uh, the bureaus actually receive their letters. Number eight, do you have a client portal? Most companies actually offer a client portal. You want to have a client portal that you can log into and see everything that's going on. Now, no matter what software they're using, these CRMs do make mistakes. They do, especially Credit Repair Cloud. I know y'all get tired of me talking about them. They probably do too. I've used it personally. I have friends that use it. When you log in to show your client or your client logs in and they look at stuff, 99% of the time, it's going to be off. 99% of the time. That is that is not good. So when you do log into your client portal, and let's just say you want to log in and see what's changed you know, from the re-import, always go straight to the credit report and check that and cross-reference it with what is in 
that CRM that you are logged into to make sure that something was actually deleted. Uh, because again, no matter which software uh, a company is using, they do make mistakes, even the one I use. So before I post pictures and videos, I always cross-reference the credit report from my free score now to make sure those items were actually deleted before I post pictures on my Facebook page or videos on my YouTube channel. Number nine, do you offer discounts for couples? Now, obviously this question is not for everybody. If you're not signing up with a couple, obviously you could care less if they offer a discount. A lot of companies will not offer a discount because they don't want to lose money. In this industry, you make your money in numbers. So if you can get two people to sign up versus one, you're going to make that money back. You should offer a discount for couples. I don't care what anybody says. If you lose a little bit of money, it's going to be okay. You make your money in numbers in this industry, uh, especially when you charge monthly, which is the way you're supposed to charge. You are not supposed to charge one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars as a one-time fee uh, to work on somebody's credit whether it be credit repair credit restorations or credit solutions it doesn't matter which one you cannot accept one-time fees but you should definitely offer a discount for couples because a lot of couples have bad credit some couples one person's got good credit the other don't so if you want to offer a discount for couples that sign up uh, and number 10, who is actually doing the work on my file? Now, this is actually my favorite question that you should ask because you want to know, you need to know who is working on my file. Is it you, the expert that's working on my file? Or are you sending this to another country to a VA, which is a virtual assistant, to do all the work while you reap the benefits of them doing the work uh, you know, this is something I've made a video on in the past. 99% of companies use a virtual assistant because they work super, super cheap. They can get tons of work done in a day and that business literally doesn't have to do anything. Some people even have their VAs reach out to go over the, the reimports with their clients. They literally don't have to do anything. You want the expert person you signed up with doing the work for you. So again, this is just 10 questions you should be asking before you sign up with anyone for credit repair, credit restorations, or credit solutions, including myself. So if you are interested in signing up with me, write all this stuff down. Put me on the spot. Ask me all these questions that I'm talking about in this video today, because again, you deserve to know exactly what's going on the methods that are being used, is there a money back guarantee, what type of results should I see, you know, what makes you different from everyone else, can I see the work, can I see the letters, can I see what you're sending to the bureaus, do I have access to you, can we send all my letter certified mailing, uh, is there a portal I can log in to see everything that's going on, do you offer discounts, you need to know this stuff. So. If anybody has any questions about this video, just leave a comment or you can text me or email me. I'll leave that information in the description of the video. Uh, I will not be going live today. Today's Sunday, but I will be going live tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday and I've got to get back on track uh, going live Monday through Thursday. So y'all can ask me questions. Uh, we can go over stuff and that's really all I got for now, but I hope y'all have a great Sunday.